Alright, greetings everyone, Dashrow here and welcome back to another episode of the Hunter Call of the Wild and we are continuing our trekking trips through various reserves uh, in which I believe we finished Yukon Valley again, I'm <clears throat> pretty sure I probably missed something in Parque Fernando and Savannah but because I didn't spot it on the map it wasn't revealed by the watchtowers, the, the observation posts I'm not gonna bother. So, and now we're going for... <coughs> for Cuatro Colinas, which is in Spain. I definitely like, like, uh, enjoy that every reserve definitely gives their own vibe. I mean, sure, if you, like, walk around it for long time you probably would start noticing similarities but uh... my family have held our vigil over these majestic swathes of countryside for generations but they can give you like my roots different are vibe deep here and, and the success and survival of cuatro colinas game reserve is my primary responsibility and now my old friend we are reunited it's been a long time since we last worked together but I know you're going to be essential to my plans for the future. I trust that you slept well last night and you're ready for your Castilian adventure. After all these years of promising to show you Cuatro Colinas, your first day on the reserve has arrived. It means a great deal to me that you made this journey. I have every confidence that you're going to love hunting here. The first thing I would like you to do is to experience the sublime Bosque Vista, not far from where you're standing just now. From atop the vista, one has a splendid perspective of the reserve. This view includes one of our magnificent outposts, which I recommend hey, you visit um... when you get the chance. Quite a large I know map. a rugged outdoor explorer like you doesn't need to spend the night in the luxury of a castillo, but you do have all of our visitors' outposts at your disposal. My mother and father had all of these lodges built over the last 35 years. The lodge you are looking for is called Casa Alfonso. To modernize the reserve, we have recently updated the interiors of all of our lodges, we kept the original stone cladding, though. Oh. The contrast in styles is pure magic. Standing here, you are following in the footsteps of Spanish dukes and kings, as well as every generation of my family for the past three centuries. Te doy la bienvenida a Cuatro Colinas, my friend. I hope you like the view. You should be able to see Casa Alfonso from there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... When you have sampled enough of the view, take the walk down to the outpost. I mean... Yeah, it's looking dang nice. <clears throat> now let's go in this direction and then we're gonna head back to the, the outpost. Then, honestly, I may wanna deal with the regions above the river. And I'm still forgetting to like activate some sort of like ambient music from YouTube in the background. And of course, when it comes to discovering stuff, uh, obviously I am not doing the animal related things, so we are not discovering various like feeding zones, drinking zones, and all of that jazz, but it's alright. I don't need to 
get them. I just want to, you know, what is available on the map for me to easily discover. That's what I want to do. And especially I want to deal with the outpost because uh, getting the fast travel option is gonna be a godsend. Ready? Darian Mouflon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a goddamn scarecrow. What do you mean? Yeah, we're gonna deal with that objective, but I want to get those points first. Some parts of Cuatro Colinas that only a select few know about. I'm taking you to a place where the views are magnificent and the hunting is even better. There, I've sent you the coordinates for the trailhead that leads to this divine setting. Normally I would insist on being there with you while you experience it, but I don't want you to miss it. I encourage you to hunt as much as you'd like. You are undoubtedly keen to become familiar with the rolling hills, steep ascents, and your wily prey. You should search for animal tracks. I know you have experience, but one should utilize every advantage when taking on the cunning beasts of Cuatro Colinas. This is the start of the trail that leads to my own little patch of heaven on earth. Of course, if you're lucky, you'll probably hear something just from walking through that part of the reserve. The hunter I knew didn't rely on luck, though. You're nearly there. I recall that you used to have wonderful yeah, hearing. Yeah, none. Is that still true? Or have your years gotten the better of you? You have arrived. Is it not stunning? Recently, yes, it is. I've only come here to meditate. It is so ethereal and serene, even when the rain is falling. When I first invited you to visit, I assumed that I would be coming home to host you as a visitor, spending time here before traveling abroad once again. With my return being prompted by my mother's passing instead, my focus has been entirely on work, instead of enjoying the very places that bring me comfort. 
I am pleased that I was able to show you this. In a way, I got to experience it vicariously. Of course, it's also one of our best spots to go hunting. I've never gone on a hunt out there and returned home empty-handed. If you are able to pull yourself away from the tranquil beauty of the cove, there are many other wonderful sights for you to see. Hmm. It feels like there's gonna be something at the end here. See, your tracking skills are as sharp as ever. I'm sure you're going to enjoy your hunts here. Senor Vaden, our company for last night, appears to be enjoying his time here as well. He's a unique fellow, but quite charming in his own way. When I mentioned that I had hired you as a professional hunter, he seemed a little bothered. He then proceeded to inform me of some hunting accolades that he has received during his career as a hunter. Until recently, huh. I put his candor down to the sangria. But he seems equally enthusiastic in his self-promotion, even with a clear head. Apparently, he has harvested a pair of ibex already. I think someone is trying to market themselves as a worthy competitor. I think it's time for you to remind me what you can do. I'd like for you to harvest an animal. Any animal. Once you're done, let me know, and I'll inform Senor Baden that he has a little competition. When I first returned to help run the reserve after my time away, these were the places I wanted to be. Places that reminded me of my mother. Just a short way down the cove, there is another splendid view. Hey. I recommend it. Hmm. Yeah, mountainous areas are always tricky to navigate. <coughs> but also looking pretty damn gorgeous. Hold on, we managed to... Probably some watchtower to be built here, I suppose. No, actually a saving point. I mean, the fast travel, I, I mean. And we do have a level up. Skill point. I think I started to get things some. Most likely I have to go all the way around because I don't think So maybe from this side The horns of the Iberian Muflum have a truly unique aesthetic The distinctive curling sweep forward makes this a trophy you'll want to add to your collection I definitely like that the watchtowers in this are not that complicated, really. They are nice and simple. And the 
views again are amazing. They're looking very damn nice. Okay, so we were there. That's a shame. The ibex's horns rise upwards before splaying outwards, with the tips pointing up. The Castillo's trophy room features many Bethete horns. <clears throat> so we've got her and yeah i'm absolutely sure there are like other points of interest but we just simply do not see them and i'm not gonna be wasting time going after something that i do not see so with that said uh let's continue with the upper like mountainous areas The Iberian wolf is the reserve's apex predator and is useful in the control of wild boar populations. This doesn't mean that the farmers like having them here. Making sure that I do not eject myself into oblivion and uh, the sights again are majestic. Okay, so there are limits to the unlimited uh, health, I suppose. God damn, that was interesting. And we respond. Yeah, shit. Well, off we go. European hares are fast-moving, agile creatures. If you don't have the advantage of surprise, good luck making your shot. 
and escaping here is a tricky target. going to need to do enough hunting for both of us, it would seem. The administrative part of my role is something I am still getting used to. Sadly, it prevents me from spending any time on the reserve with you, or getting to know my neighbors. Cuatro Colinas is mostly composed of my family's estate, but includes several tracts of public land with public roads. Because I'm overseeing the reserve, I need to work with the local government to ensure that the public roads are kept safe. There is a stretch of road in particular that is extremely dangerous. It has a steep cliff on one side, and drivers need to slow right down or risk a perilous drop. Until recently, we had road signs warning approaching drivers of the danger. I mention this to you because these signs have suddenly disappeared, as if by magic. And I need you to replace them. Uh, I know that this would be like, a hunter's job, uh, but I have asked the mayor to take to care honest. of it. And he told me that I have to wait a month for him to send a crew. I'd have my handyman Julio deal with it, but the poor old soul is laid up in bed with pneumonia. I was able to go into town and retrieve some replacements. Unfortunately, I was in a rush and had to attend a meeting, so I wasn't able to put them up. Why not? We can we can do this. Although I suppose I probably have to stick to the road. in the right spot. I left the signs so you'd be able to find them easily. Once you've retrieved the signs, there are poles about 30 meters from the bend in either direction. Attach the signs to the poles. Hmm. Okay. This isn't even the first time this has happened. I've heard of drunk people stealing traffic cones, but this must be something else. For now, though, we have something else to take care of. My neighbor Manuel is a goat herd who has been raising goats here for 25 years, and one of his goats has gone missing. Apparently, it is his favorite, Paloma. This might seem like a small concern, but he has assisted my family on many occasions. I want to repay his kindness. Manuel has told me of an isolated tree that Paloma uses to hide from the rain. Perhaps that's a good place to start your search. It stands on its own, so it should be easy to find.
this I, I guess it's possible this might be a like not a tower but yeah like a lore thing yeah specifically for this makes sense You're getting close to the tree that Manuel mentioned. Can you see any sign of Paloma? I will be sure to take a trip to visit Manuel this evening, so I can inform him in person. I will take some flowers. The body. It appears that she was killed and then abandoned. Surprising behavior for a predator. Are there any clues as to what did this? These prints were left by a wolf, but this is strange behavior. The wolves tend not to take prey from this part of the reserve, but maybe one got desperate. We ought to investigate this further and track down the creature that did this. It's essential that even if we don't catch it, we ensure that it hasn't lingered in the area, putting the other ghosts at risk. It does appear that the tracks are leading away from the pasture, though. With any luck, the wolf won't come back. Disappearing road signs, wolves that kill but don't eat? These are not the sort of events I expected out here. At least, they never used to be. Since taking over responsibility for the reserve from my father while he gets better, I have started to realize just how much effort goes into maintaining Cuatro Colinas. Vista España are quite determined to have a meeting with my father, but he is in no position to negotiate a deal at the moment. I find myself too busy with the small tasks of running the reserve, making it impossible to deal with anything else. I had planned to take him to visit my mother's memorial today. A close family friend, Padre Abbas, has made a wreath and offered to go in our stead. I wonder if he got a chance to visit. He's a busy man too. He spends most of his free time exploring the reserve when he isn't stopping by to visit us at the Castillo. I don't know if he will get an opportunity to visit the memorial today. And I know that I won't get a chance for at least a week. She deserves better. I should be up there now instead of meeting with lawyers and accountants. I know that bureaucracy is necessary to run a game reserve. But it all seems trivial when compared to taking care of my family. Even though she's gone, I still feel a sense of duty. I apologize. You don't need to hear this. I should get back to work. That is alright, you have a voice on the radio. It doesn't really respond because silent protagonist. Probably gonna forget that this was a thing. I could fast travel, but you know what? Let's just go for it. Yeah, I imagine like for those who are like really, yeah, really want to immerse themselves. Uh, like there's this whole ecosystem. Ep you can learn, you know, where the animals rest, in which hours and what, and you can like plan all of those things, which is... I mean, from a simulation perspective, it is very nice and shows the amount of detail that goes into this game. 
<coughs> which I'm never gonna, you know, be, uh, uh, what's the word, deny, decline, yeah, deny, I'm not denying that, it's freaking impressive. Jump off the bridge. Thankfully, I didn't. to travel up there on my behalf, but I am very grateful for the picture. <sighs> Padre made the trip after all, it seems. His wreaths are so beautiful, don't you think? He makes them from wild flowers that he finds on his travels. My mother used to make them too. Ah, oh, we're gonna be getting back there, don't worry. Some different sort of structure. Can you use them? Yeah, I don't. I didn't think so. Yeah, the looks of everything. Amazing. <clears throat> yeah, let's get the... <coughs> Saving points so we can... With that... I mean, saving point. I also like fast travel point. I suppose that's the right way to call it. Right, and then, yeah, we can do that objective and move back there. She was such a wonderful person. She always tried to get the most out of every day. She never seemed to rest. It's a shame that you never met her. I think you two would have got on well. She loved walking those trails as much as anyone else I've ever met. 